Hey guys, Alec here, Scuba Tech Tips, and now I want to talk just briefly about dive bags. I've had, oh, as a matter of fact, my, my dear wife Diana's in the room right now. What do you think, 50 dive bags I've owned? And sold 700 million? <laughs> We don't dive bags pretty well. And for the last, I would say, the last 30 or 40 years, maybe more than that, the dive bag, uh, generally speaking, the most popular is a soft bag. Something like this, a soft bag. It's like a hockey bag, if you like, but a little fancier. You know, a hockey bag has a zipper and handles. Dive bags are a little nicer. First of all, dive bags are inv almost invariably are hold through an airport. So they almost invariably have a handle and wheels so you can put all your diving gear in there 35 pounds don't forget the airport airport restrictions and off you go pretty handy put the handle down it goes into this is too big for carry on of course so this goes in the check but all of your gear can be in there we used to cheat a little bit because we put a lot of our extra stuff in there as well our clothing our shoes and stuff like that fill the dive bag up i think you're allowed 50 pounds anyway fill the dive bag up and they've been working pretty good in terms of security maybe not so much i've actually seen not laughing at you if, if, if you've done this, but I've seen divers, and, they, and you can buy them in dive stores, at little locks. And you put the zippers together and lock them with a little lock, yeah, yeah. Of course, anybody with a exacto knife can zip the side wide open. They wouldn't even bother looking at your locks. It's wide open, dump the stuff out and take what they want. So in terms of security, they're maybe not the best choice. Now, just recently, there's another dive bag choice that's come out. And I think it's pretty neat. I think I'm going to get one of these and, and give it a try on, on our next trip, which is to Roatan. <clears throat> Look at that. This is a hard bag. You can see it. Now, it's, it's not a hard, hard. It's got sort of, it's sort of flexible hard, okay? First of all, I like the four rollers. I've used these before. But particularly if you have a heavy bag and you have it on two wheels only, and you pull a handle out and you give it a tip, sometimes it doesn't stop where it should, and it doesn't stand up really perfectly well. So the four rollers is awfully nice. Secondly, this is, gives a lot more protection. First of all, generally speaking, bag handlers are less likely to even try to open this, they can. I mean, it's a, it's a fabric zipper, so it's probably not much harder to open than a soft bag, but it does give a, a sense of security, a little more strength. Kevin has a picture of the inside, and when this opens up, this is a big bag. I mean, I don't know the, the, the square footage. Is this coming square footage, Kevin? I don't know how many square inches it is. 14 by 31 by 14. This is a big square box. Yeah. And 10 pounds. Yeah. Just like that. My wife won't complain anymore about dragging my dive bag all over the world. Anyway, something to think about. This is from Akona. Akona is a very, very big company. Friends of ours. They make great products, uh, great backup, great warranties, two handles on it. It's something to think about. Next time you're going diving or if it's time for a new dive bag, slip into your local dive store and see if they don't have the, uh, this Akona hard bag. It's called the Terrapin. Terrapin is a, is a turtle. It means turtle. I'm sure of it. Spinner roller bag. Good name. Okay, that's it, guys. Something to think about. A hard dive bag. Take care. Alec Pierce, Tech Tips. Talk to you soon.